welcome to my channel. I want to show you my current progress in Fairy Tales book by Selina Fennick, one of the books which I intend to finish this year. But honestly, I don't want which page select as my next project. So what I finished for now, you know that I work in this book already a couple of years, but I decided that this year I definitely want to have one finished book and it will be fairy tales. Well, I have not a very good starting page. Here I tried to experiment with my very old distress inks. And it wasn't a very successful experiment that I decided that I better cover everything with black paint because it was the one thing which I could imagine how to save my first page and maybe later on I will be able to grab some of my metallic gel pens then I will do the frame maybe I will try to use a little bit of metal gouache paints we will see so I want to do shiny golden frame and then I will finish these tiny images I don't like this black page but believe me before it was even worse here I have index of pages I noticed for myself which one I already did so, I finished Beauty and the Beast. Actually, when I started to color this book, I thought about coloring each and every lady in its own color of the dress. But of course, I already started to repeat myself. And again, for my next projects, I definitely need your advice which color to use for the dress. I have Beauty and the Beast. This one I do love because of the shadows and highlights, reflection from the candlelight, which I did on the glass of the window and on her dress. I was quite proud when I finished this one. And I do love this golden rose. My recently finished Cinderella. Here I have areas where I am more happy, less happy. I'm not sure yet if I did the right choice for the for her old dress when it started to transform back from the beautiful gown to the old dress. Maybe this grey wasn't the best choice, but it was fun to color and I love that I selected warm peach and beige colors for the walls of the castle. I think that it helped me to create this atmosphere of the festive building, everything is highlighted inside. and. I do love the contrast between blue-violet colors which I used on the sky and warm colors which I used on the buildings. And of course I tried to pay attention to all the reflections of the light on the white surface of the marble on the columns and on the stairs here. Well, let's move. It's one of my relatively old works, but I still like it because it was probably the first time when I tried to do such as sky and clouds. I do love that instead of the traditional blue, I used slightly more unusual colors here. I think that it helped to make the background more muted, less intense, that the whole attention goes to the little mermaid. And I absolutely love her tail. Transparent part and part with the scales here. Next one, it's one of the projects which I think about doing next. I think about this one or about Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> the fun thing is that I don't remember the story correctly, so I need to check what about this fairy tale. Uh, it will be interesting to show different characters of the girls, diamonds and tots, and how to show the story using different colors for both of the ladies it's challenging interesting part and I do love this frame it's very beautiful so that's project number one here I have a one and only page which I am not very happy with usually I color in this book without any difficulties it's easy for me to select colors even if I have some doubts regarding dresses, but it's 
not a huge problem like I like I can't resolve it but here I wasn't able to show properly difference of colors between foreground and background green is too intense I think that I absolutely don't like this huge leaf it distracts attention from the Sambalina. So that's not my best work here. Of course, I won't be redoing it even if I have the second copy. Never. But that's my least favorite picture in the book. The next one I love. I love that here I have this difference slightly lighter shades on the grass here with more yellowish and going far from us in the depths of the forest we have darker and more muted green colors. I do love how bright is her red hood, exactly what we need to attract attention to, to the girl and I think that I managed to do fur on the wolf also quite nice. I do also love his yellow eyes. Next one also is good here I again tried to pay a lot of attention to the highlights. Here we have both figures and the bear, they are uh, highlighted from behind with the fireplace, so I try to create this halo around them with light yellow colors and I also try to work on the fur, maybe not texture because it's very complicated to do texture on such paper, but at least on highlights and shadows on the bear. So this one I also love and I'm I'm glad that I did something totally different, one with dark hair, one with blonde hair. Uh, well, the Snow Queen, I, I don't think that I want to do it now. I definitely not in the mood of more blue colors, winter pictures, so um, definitely it will be a project for some other time. This one I love here, I combined Prisma colors and Polychromosis. Polychromosis helped me on the girl, on her dress, and with Prisma colors it was easier to do a very soft pastel background. Here is this huge uh, rising sun and very delicate colors on the sky, so this one I absolutely love, even if it was a little bit creepy to color this head of the horse. And this one, I don't know, maybe later. It's a good one, I know which colors I want to use, I simply not in the mood for Russian fairy tales just now. Here it's beautiful as it is, but it's one of the pictures where background is a little bit empty, not very traditional for Selena Fennec, where usually you don't have to think how to fill in the background. But here we have the empty background and I still don't know what to add. Maybe part of the brick wall where near the well, uh, maybe some bushes, some flowers behind, so I still have no idea. So this one I don't know how to color the main image okay, but what to do with the background, I'm still not sure. Here I have this one where I experimented how Dervant series of um, brand of pencil work on this paper here. I remember that I combined Derwent color softs mostly on the carpet, on the pillows and also Derwent drawing pencils. Drawing helped me to do the column and brick stones. They worked well and I do love this page. The only thing I want to improve now when I have my set of green acrylic markers with matching color I will find matching color of the green and I want to get rid of so many black lines on the fabric of her dress. I hope that after this improvement it will look better. Well, you know, this one which I finished last month. Uh, before the war started I planned to do this one in, fe in in, January, in February, yeah, in the beginning of February, I did another page in Selena Fennec book, which I called The Date in the Garden, and there I tested a very good color combo for the gray bricks and for the stone walls, but unfortunately, mostly they were Derwent drawings. I don't have them now, so this one, it will have to wait, because on this huge area of the 
bricks, it will be quite good to use such a soft and creamy pencils, which I have in Derwent drawings. They have nice cool gray, slightly more bluish gray colors. That, so when I reunited, reunite with my set of Derwent drawings, then I will do this one. And still I don't know which color to use for her dress. Of course, she will be with golden hair, Rapunzel, but what color to use for her dress? It's still a thing to decide. And that's the second project which I may select as my next one. Is it this one or diamonds and toads? Diamonds and toads, it's good because then the first part of my book will be completed. And this one, I do love this perspective. I immediately fall in love with the picture on the cover when I got the book. And it's absolutely amazing colors which Selena used. Her covers, they always are very beautiful. But first, I don't love to copy all the details. And honestly, I don't know how to do with pencils such effect. It was co colored digitally by Selena. I will think, if I manage to find similar colors for her dress, then okay, then I will do this page. Or maybe you have other su uh, suggestions which color I can use for the snow white dress. I think that I will manage to do the background, grass and other things, but her dress, which is very important part here, that's the most challenging part. Next one, I can't say that I love it. It was quite boring to color all those layers and layers of the uh, various matrices stuck together. So that's why I decided that at least I will color them in some unusual colors. They won't be all white. I even used blue, turquoise, jade green. and. On her face I overdid with shading, then I tried to delete it with a razor, so in the end she looks a little bit dirty and definitely very pissed off. She is definitely in a bad mood. So that's why I always laugh when I look at this page. That's my princess in not in very good state. Well, that was one of my first projects in this book when I absolutely fall in love. When I did this one, I realized that this one will be one of my most favorite books. And here again, I think about deleting some of the black lines. Yeah, they are helpful for showing some where are the folds on the fabric, but sometimes it's too much of them. They slightly mess up with the final image of the page. And now with my bigger selection of green markers, I also hope to improve this one. Maybe I also will outline roses. I don't know why I outline them only partially, just with the... Maybe I didn't have pastel pink at the time. Now I have it, so maybe I also will work a little bit on the flowers to finish this page. You know that usually I don't return to my old works, but I want this book to be perfect when it finished. When it would be finished. This one I love. I remember that here I used mix of Arteza. I wanted to test them on this paper for the first time and Prismacolor pencils. This one I love and I think that it's everything here is not bad. I'm very satisfied with, the, with this one. Again, one of my recent works here. I don't want to change anything. I'm simply happy how I did this one. You can see that I repeated green of the dress, but with slightly different pencils, different brand of pencils, and it looks slightly more yellowish compared to the first one. And I have gold looks. Here it was quite an easy choice for the blue dress. I remember that I started from this area. Then I decided that I can do interesting color for the bed cover for the curtains with the slightly faded red colors. Everything apart from the landscape behind the window was made with polychromous pencils 
paint only for this green areas for the landscape where I needed better coverage of the page, better blending of pencils. Here I used Prisma colors. And this one I definitely messed up. Again, I started with a good beginning. I selected nice shades of Arteza pencils to do this ochre and red ochre colors on the sand. Um, his clothes are okay and I even managed to use some of the uh, neocolor crayons very carefully adding very small amount of water and then ironing the page. But again, problem is the shading on his face. I don't know how to do proper shading on this paper. Everything looks dirty. So in the end I decided that maybe I will do my girls and boys with a lesser amount of shading. Maybe they will have more flat faces, but at least they won't look dirty. So everything apart from his face I do love. The small clouds and the castle which we have, palace which we have behind, but definitely not his face. Now, another one where I am absolutely happy with the result. I tried to show here that when they are in their own castle, those princesses, they have maybe dresses made from more heavy fabrics, maybe they have velvet and colors are darker. But when they go through the magical door, magical portal to those fairy, uh, fairy tale area, they have much lighter dresses in pastel colors, more ready for dancing. And the first part, the foreground, I made with polychromous pencils, their skin, their dresses. And here I switched to all those Prisma colors, which I so love. You can definitely recognize pastel pink, blush pink, deco pink. Uh, lilac lavender colors and I hope that the difference in colors is visible and it was my idea behind this page. It was one of my oldest pictures here. I remember that I started with maybe with polychromoses. I wanted to add those eyes to make background even more sinister like someone is looking from the forest. I added those eyes, but then everything... I don't know why I wasn't very happy, so I switched to Prisma colors and the Hansel and Gretel and the gingerbread house, everything colored with Prismas. Somehow on this page I preferred them more. Here it's another one which I love. I especially love the past in boots. I remember that it was the first time when I tried to do this um, lining color on the shirt. I didn't want it to do it with very bright white colors. I think that shirt it have to be slightly more worn. That it's slightly dirty, so I experimented with different shades of Prisma color grays. This warm gray, this French gray. So I do love this effect, and of course it was fun to color him. Another page where I absolutely love my color palette. From the beginning I knew that I wanted to do this strong gradient, a very light background behind the jack and going through the yellow to the yellow-orange and almost orange-brown colors closer to the edges of page. And I think that such orange colors, they always look nice together with olive green, warm green colors. And that's what I used here. And you can see how many pictures I already managed to color. I will be happy to hear your opinion which page I need to do next. The brilliance and diamonds and toads or the sleeping beauty. And if sleeping beauty, which color to choose for her dress? Do I need to copy this one or you have any better ideas? I don't know if I do this in April or maybe it was it will be a work for May, but I definitely need to select my next project if I plan to finish it until the end of this year.
Thank you, and I hope that it wasn't very boring to talk 20 minutes about just one book.